it is it is technically a bigger org, so you know, congratulations to all of them. I don't I don't know necessarily what a sponsorship entails, but they have nice jerseys. They do have cool looking jerseys. John did not wear his jersey to the tournament he was sponsored to attend, though. John. John. Where's your jersey? Where's your jersey? Where's your jersey? Oh, okay, that's a pretty good excuse. Yeah, if you have an NVS one. He doesn't have one yet, which is actually a legitimate excuse. <laughs> Yeah, John. yeah, he had an NVS jersey, but he he didn't want to wear it. Yeah, he's team charge shot now. Yeah. Um, so I own the same shirt that Brett does. We went to the same nerd camp, and every time I see him without his head in the the, the, the face cam, I'm like, it's me, because it's a white is guy it, wearing that shirt. But is, it's not. Is that the it's software Brett. school? Yeah, yeah. Shirt. Yeah. yeah. I was like, oh, it's me. No, it's Brett. <laughs> I should know this because I'm over here and this yeah. is the live feed, but my brain doesn't work like that. So I'm going to go update the, the, the names. Thank you. So these are two historically, like, very, very play-a-lot players in Tent Middle Tennessee, if there's anybody watching that doesn't already know that. And uh, I'd say Brandon definitely takes the lion's share of sets at the bigger events. But it's also one that Brett can definitely win, um, which is impressive when you consider, like, well, uh, Brandon just flagrantly lets him back there. I'm not really sure why. This is this is tournament, but you know what? He'll take it. Um, Brandon last year having wins over Crike and myself, um, two like top 100 Marth mains. Crike a top 50 Marth main. So uh, very impressive that Brett can continue to hold his own through all this time. And it uh, looks like he's going to take the first stock. Oh, well. Oh yes, there he gets it. Yeah. Brett has kind of mastered the thing that some Marths are really good at, where it doesn't matter if he's getting beat up really bad in neutral. He will stay composed, and when he finds his hit, he will take it, you know, to as good of a place as his punish game can get him. Oh, shit, they're going. Yep. Got right into it, no hand warmer. Uh, Brandon was kind of batting him around like a cat with a ball of yarn at first, but then Brett really started to tighten things up and pull together and landed a really fat punish to take the first dog. What do you, what do you feel about, like... Like, give me, give me your honest opinion on Brett punish game. So, Brett's punish game is really good against people who aren't don't have elite defense. Mm. But I think he goes for some things that aren't quite technically true. And if you don't have that elite def if you do have that elite defense, you can kind of be lacking. Yeah. Um, in particular, he will fair or f smash when he should grab like very frequently. Yeah. Um, and he. It, because he's not like quite adequately respecting the ASDI down options, whether it be slide off or something else. Hmm. Um, he also, in neutral, will try and use like uh, rising fair as his opener super often, and I think that like better like top top players will crouch cancel and punish that hmm. more uh, frequently. Because when you do rising fair in neutral, if you're not whiff punishing, if you're just making a call out, like there's no way to under like be confident that you will get the tipper hit. Right. If you don't get the tipper hit, it's or if safe. you're drifting in, if you're drifting in, it's always unsafe. <coughs> yeah. Um, I think that part of that's a an eras thing. Brett came up just a little before me when uh, PPMD and PewPewU Pew were like big name Marths. Before people could ASDI down before everything. Before people were holding down at all, literally every second of the yeah. game. Yeah, no, I get it. Yeah. Because um, if you watch old PP VODs of his Marth, like it's very timeless except that. He does that all the time, and I don't think he'd be able to do that in the modern day. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. As a whiff punish, it's okay because you can guarantee the tipper. Mm. Um, oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Brett was doing that a lot against me. Um, it almost felt like he was, like, mocking me or disrespectful, but <laughs> it kept hitting me, and I was like, oh, I guess I got to hold that. Yeah. Um, it's like a, a movement call out. Yeah. Like, well, specifically, he would do it, like, two or three times in quick succession. I was like, really? Like, yeah. you're a good player, Brett. Are we really doing playing like that? <laughs> but, like, you know, it worked. Yeah. Like, clearly, I was the one that was, you know, wrong. Yeah. There's an extent to where, like, you hit the next level to where, like, mm -hmm. they they think I'm good enough that I won't, won't F-Smash three times. But he, he, yeah, now hold this third F-Smash. Yeah. And then it works. Yeah. It's like if you ever play Wally, the Peach player, yeah. you think he's so good. He beat Zane. He won't down smash on this platform. Yes, he will. <laughs> yes, he absolutely will. Um. Oh, hey. All right, I guess you got some off-the-record information from my co-commentator that I'm pleased to hear, but I cannot share it with the stream just yet. Hooray. 
All right. FD time. FD time. This is not an auto win. I, I, so my other thing with Brett's Tonish game is he's I not think he's not great at the FD stuff. Yeah. He's decent at the chain grab, not amazing. And he has a couple of really good follow-ups he goes for here. Um, okay. Brandon's edge guarding, by the way, has just been really uncharacteristically poor this set. I think he's playing everything else fine. Yeah. And he's just not edge guarding. Brandon is very hard to edge guard, though. But even though he, yeah. I mean, he's missing some stuff that should be like guaranteed, I assume, right? I uh, know uh, Brandon. Brandon's oh, missing. Brandon. Brandon's not edge guarding Brett. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. I mean, like, 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 like I'm not gonna sit here and be like, that wasn't a very good edge guard. Yeah, he just accidentally full hop. He just yeah. literally did not edge guard him at all. But that happens. Yeah. Um. Brett was not playing amazing in our set. Uh, I lost that game five, but both of the games I won, I should not have won. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. That is something I noticed Brett does a lot is he he definitely just like drifts like goes goes low in a lot of spots where you really shouldn't. Yeah. He gets hit out of sight yeah, like for side being a lot I've seen. Oh no. Yeah, at some point like like Brandon resets the situation over and over again with Marth on ledge, but he's not capitalizing. Yeah. And like Marth is bad on ledge. He's right to look for that situation, but like you gotta do something with it. Right. That was a really bad nair. I feel like like anytime you're watching like Cody when like with Marth off stage. Yeah, like, it's like Marth's it's very dead. scary, yeah. Yeah. Like he, he gets like, that juicy shine or like hits the side B or something and like I feel like he like starts on stage. Like he doesn't go to ledge and then do something. It's yeah, on stage I, react to what Marth is like, how Marth is recovering. Yeah. I think there are times like if Marth still has his double jump, you should just not grab the ledge. Yeah. Just wait and react. Yeah. Or you can't really react, but you got to make a call out. Right, Going right. to ledge is not a call out. It's I'm scared. You're never real, unless yeah. he's does something extremely stupid like side B, like right yeah. at ledge or go low. Yeah. Then yeah. So what what the stream watchers don't know is Tyler says do something extremely stupid, and then he says exactly what I do all the time, <laughs> and and he knows that I know that he knows, but hey, the viewers know. at home. Uh, so that was a really bad game, frankly. I, I don't think Brett played well at all. Um, but, you know, it's a new game. Got another FD game. The other thing that's good about an FD game as the Marth is that you, you take the combos take a long time. And if yeah. you're playing bad or you're, like, really struggling, which sometimes is the case because you're on FD, it means you've already lost, um, you can just do, like, this super long punish and feel better about yourself. <laughs> Damn, that was cool. I did 140 really in nice. one hit. Yeah. Yeah. Brett, one thing I, I've noticed is much more so than most Marth, and it's really good. He will react to the fact that he got shined while aerial, and he won't just mash grab or whatever. He, like, really he understands the situation. Yeah, he really understands the situation. Okay, that was some scrub stuff. I don't care if it worked. All right. Yeah. These players should be too good to do that. Um, yeah. Back air. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. That was really that was good. Crazy. That was a hard call out. I did not expect him to like be on stage after that too. Yeah, that's, that's Fox just actually killed from landing a bear at fifty percent there. <laughs> like that F smash. I don't think it was good. Yeah. It really ended the combo early. And yeah, now you gotta okay. Well, that should have killed. That was a really good edge guard setup, but he just messed up. Yeah, he got there. A couple extra steps, but he got there. Okay. Yeah, I don't think either of them are playing <coughs> great, to be completely honest with you. So if the fox is like, just like dash dance on the other side of the stage. Yeah. Like, what, what's your what's the, like the go to? Do you like watch the dash dance and like try to contest it, or do you like? It depends on like how cool I think I am that day. Yeah. If I think I'm a very cool individual, I'm just running across the stage and f smashing. Yeah. Um. If I'm like a little more concerned, I am definitely gonna try and like slowly cut off the stage with my own dash dance. Mm. Because uh, typically people that like want to dash dance from super far away, they're either scared or they don't really understand what they're doing. Yeah. Um, but like the thing about competition is it makes us all really scared. So True. sometimes you ever see really great players dash dancing from like comical distances. All right, that should have been an easy edge guard. I mean, this is uh. He's gonna getting three stock last game yeah. to about to win this game. I mean. Oh, oh, okay. You okay, you, you remixed that, that a little bit, but you, you know, he, he found it. You could have went forward. You didn't have yeah, to go backwards yeah. from that. <laughs> but we'll take it. All right, on the board. 
It's like a new age more thing to do that, though, because it's for reasons relating to the hitbox that I don't fully understand. It's immensely harder to get the soft hit when you do a reverse back down air. I guess that kind of so, makes sense. Yeah. So, like, the the new Marth wisdom is that if you are doing a suicide down air, always reverse it. Yeah. If you can. Yoshi's the... Would you say Yoshi's is the worst stage for Marth in this yes. matchup? Yes. Yes, it is. It is the only game that I won against Brett where I was like, hey, I kind of deserved it. Yeah. Like, the Dream Land game that I won was just comically I should not have won it. Oh, there's a rising fair. Yeah. It's getting cooked. It's not always bad, but, like, he just does it with full drift in way too yeah. often. I, I, I definitely, like, rest him sometimes for yeah. doing, like, the full drift rising fair over top of my shield. Yeah. I'm like, I never do those. Yeah. Well, I mean, at some point, somebody shows you the same look a hundred times. You yeah. got you to gotta, you gotta, you gotta let them know. It's 2-1 dead, yeah. Yeah, Brandon loves the fair extension on the platforms, particularly on this stage. Mm. He's definitely a Yoshi's kind of guy. He likes Yoshi's a lot. Oh, wow. Oh. He definitely plays Yoshi's well, too. I think some people, like, have this almost, like, moral drive to be a Yoshi's player <laughs> because it means you're not camping or whatever. Yeah, you're not, you're not lame. Like, you're you're like not lame. You stage. like small stage. But, like, I'm going to be honest. Some matchups, I, I genuinely think Yoshi's the lame choice. Not yep. this one. I think this is just the correct option for Fox. But, that was weird. like, if you're a Marth Ditto player and you counterpick Yoshi's, I, I think you're a cheeser. <laughs> like, like uh, it, point blank, you got to be a little bit of a cheater. It's the stage where the less good player wins usually. Yeah. Or not usually, but like they have a better chance of yeah. winning. Yeah, yeah. Well, so that was a crazy combo. That was the Brandon combo. Yeah, the we, Brandon we actually talked about that before. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the like the first talk of me and Brandon playing, it was just that combo, on Battlefield. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 beautiful reverse wow. fair. I was not what I expected. I expected like side B or something. Yeah, I was expecting baby back air, maybe, yeah, but never, never reverse fair. But it's perfect choice. It worked yeah. great. And he didn't even get hit for it. A little bit of spaghetti. Ooh. Ooh, that should be, yeah. oh, great STI. So that was the other thing I was really impressed with with Brett uh, is that like in our, our set that he, he is basically pointless to try and up air him. Like, I think I hit one. That should be the game. Well, Brandon goes for back air. Okay, and now he's back. I love that jab. Yeah. Okay, that'll be game. Yep, yeah, that's it. Well, that's, Three, that's one. a much better last yeah. two games. Much better. 